Hey beautiful souls and welcome to your new super moon <laughs> in uh, Virgo. Pick a card with a splash of Mercury retrograde mixed in there. And we also have Lilith that's also uh, retrograding kind of mixing in there with Mars. And we're going to take a look and see how this is impacting your area of love, the house of love for you. Um, if this channel drives you to vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. That keeps me motivated to bringing you more content, more pick a cards um, every week. Um, sometimes bi-weekly, I have energy forecasts. So if you want to be alerted uh, when they are posted, um, just click on that little uh, notification bell below. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, all of my readings are donation based. There is no minimum for it. Um, and Or if you just want to connect, all the information to uh, chit chat with me or to book a reading is down below in the description box along with all the decks we are using for your amazing super moon new moon in Virgo reading for the house of love and kick it off we're going to kick it off with pile one okay pile one all right now I did do a pre-shuffle on some of the cards but I also have my tarot we'll be shuffling for you to get more details into your reading. <clears throat> so we're going to start off with uh, the what is actually going to be impacting the most um, strongest in the house of love area for you. Remember this is a general read. I'll try to cover as many whatever comes through. Um, if it's singles, uh, people in situations, third party, or people in long-term uh, committed relationships, we will see. So first off, we got keep going. Keep going. The unknown. The divine is rocking. Pile one's love area. Energetic shift. Okay, that explains it. Okay. So before we go into this. <clears throat> no, actually, I do want that one. This enthusiasm. Okay, the sun and Sag. Okay, so there is these really wonderful influences over your house of love or in your house of love energy wise so let's get into this okay you might be feeling like giving up pile one or you may have like you know kind of given up on love uh, maybe you've been waiting and waiting waiting for you know um, a person to appear or a connect or you know just feeling disappointed in love um, you know, you keep getting spit out the same cycles and patterns over and over and you're just like, oh, I'm just so tired of this. I just give up and forget about it. Letting go is one thing. Giving up is a whole other, you know, um, ballpark there. But the universe is sending you energy. They're going to send you signs, okay? Uh, the divine is uh, the unknown card in this is the universal mind deck it is literally black um you can hardly see it but there's like a like <laughs> the universe at night like looking in the desert with no lighting and a bad camera so <laughs> you get a little bit of the stars in the landscape but the unknown you don't know what's ahead right now and you're being asked to trust in this because there's some they're going to send you some signs that will kind of uh bring in that enthusiasm again of love Okay, with this, um, uh, there was a word that came in. Sorry, guys. It's the sun in Sagittarius. So that kind of energy is coming in to support this. They're gonna, you're gonna feel that enthusiasm. It's like a 360. This energetic shift has is a small part of that. There are things shifting around you in your house of love. This is awesome. Okay, so we're gonna look and see. What's going on here? Oh, wow. So maybe fears are coming up. We've got the Nine of Swords, which we call the Anxiety or Nightmare card in Tarot. Um, and I feel that for a lot of you, maybe you were under a lot of stress. and uh, Or maybe because of the unknown, letting go and finally ending things maybe for some of you. And now you're like, now what do I do? It's, it's affecting your uh, waking life, too. But this is what you want. You want that coupling. You know, you want that partner. You want that uh, feeling, that stability. But your mind is getting the best of you here. You have to have some faith. Now, this none of this is gender-based. all energy-based, okay? So we have the King of Cups energy coming in. So for some of you, 
I feel like someone is coming in new. Someone who's got, they're not afraid of their emotions or opening up. Um, we're going to look and check and see if it's someone from your past. Or if it's someone brand new. I feel like a new flavor. A new, that, that's the word that came through was new flavor. But things are shifting because right at this moment, I feel for some of you, uh, you're not you're not open to it yet. But the shifting is going on so that it can come in because you're meant to have this. You're meant to have love. You are definitely meant for that. And there's some serious shifts. I mean, come on, the unknown card. That's massive in this deck. When this comes out, I don't usually use this deck. I've had this deck for, God, six years. I very rarely pull it out, but it's been calling lately. Um, and for this card very rarely comes out, but that's really presence of something else very strong is coming on, coming through behind the scenes, working in your favor. Okay. Uh, we got love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. Sorry, the camera's being a little re re. I feel like you're going to get that enthusiasm back. Hand of cards, take a chance, risk, not showing hand kind of gambling it feels like a gamble now right with your heart should i throw my heart on the table we're gonna look into that more let's see all right spirit for pile one please can we get a little bit more clarification oh what's going on oh some of you are going to be standing out energetic shifts your energy is going to like let on fire even though you don't feel so strong right now we have the strength card here but you have the star shining hope hope and faith you're being noticed you're, you're shining a little brighter because you've been putting the focus on yourself oh my gosh somebody's going to be coming in to make an offer look into them in a minute uh two of wands uh fiery passion you're gonna get lit for some of you there's gonna be a brand new union but you're gonna have to make a choice based on this you have the ten of wands in reverse carrying a lot of burdens or you're carrying burdens from the past uh, this could be people in existing relationships. That's what I'm feeling. Or somebody in a situation. What are you carrying that's weighing so heavy on you? You're just exhausted. You're tired. You need to lay those down. You've been clutching onto them so tightly. That's where they kind of give up. And you should, you should let go, not give up. Because the whole thing is about love in itself. The essence, right? But then we have this beautiful, and we got the Nine of Pentacles coming in. Stability, long-term stability and security, abundance, nurturing, compassion, love. Wow. And at the bottom of the deck, I can't make this up. We got the Three of Cups. If you get invited um, to any parties from friends or a celebration of like maybe like a wedding, a bachelorette party, I mean a birthday party, a baby shower, you'll want to go. Especially if, if you're just like been, you know, kind of trapped in your head. Where's that? Where is it? There it is. That nine of swords. You know, you need to get out because for some of you, the connections are going to be absolutely amazing. Or maybe you'll feel like celebrating for some. Because you found your, like, uh, Ten of Cups. The ultimate wish card. Alright, let's take a look at Romance Angels. See what we got. That's a lot of powerful energy you guys have. If some of you are intuitive, which I feel some of you are, you really might want to uh, really uh, ground down now with that super moon. It's a very strong pull. Those energies are pulling everybody left and right. We do have this volatile reactive energy pushing us to be impulsive, like going with what we're feeling instead of stepping back and kind of taking a deep breath. You know, step back before we react. You know, we got to watch that too. Not be so defensive, you know. We don't have to engage. 
if something is is triggering us too much we don't have to engage we can step back just step back for a bit this is for pile one spirit what do you got coming for them in the house of love what advice do you have for them in the house of love? One more shuffle and I'll pull from the top spirit. Oh, I saw that. This could be the one. So for those of you waiting, somebody's coming in. And they're going to come in quickly. We're going to look into them just. But if it's the Nine of Pentacles, a long time coming, but they're here. They're showing up. And they're showing up correct. They're showing up with a very, very strong offer. Long term. It might be somebody wait you've been waiting on. It might be someone that uh, maybe just uh, like a twin. I feel for some it's just someone you left behind a while back. And they've taken a long time on their quest and journey to get themselves ready. I feel like some of these people, um, your person or person of interest, okay, this person, has worked very, very hard and feel like they now can offer you something worthy of you. Past life relationships. Oh, yeah. That's what I thought. I was feeling like that twin energy. Past life, you've known each other before. Some of you might even be afraid <clears throat> of this. Especially if you come out of something just, ugh. I feel like a heaviness for some of you. And maybe, you know, you've been on a self-journey lately. The past few months. Maybe all of this year. Trying to get reconnected with yourself. And now that the, you know, some of you kind of held out hope that it would just appear as you worked on yourself. But it just didn't seem that way. But actually, all the work you did was not for nothing. Okay. Especially if this is a divine feminine or divine masculine connection, which I mean twin flames. Because everything you've done for yourself supported your twin. Made them stronger. Made them feel worthy. Called them in. I feel like some of you have had really, uh, like, uh, quite a few lives with this person. This new person. This is for people who are single and been single for a while. Healing. Some of the people in um, maybe just started kind of being in a relationship. Like, and when I say it like that, I mean like you've been in it in like a month or so, but there hasn't been anything set in stone. Like, if you're going to get married or where this is going, just hang in there. Be patient. Just allow the divine to do the work right now. Okay, you guys are being supported to keep going, and don't focus so much on the end result. Right? It's really the journey itself. Don't be in such a hurry. I don't. Uh, Mars makes you feel like, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, it does. It influences that. It kind of raises that up, that impulsive energy. But that impulsive energy can also backfire, right? Why are you pushing somebody in a corner to to put a full on commitment in paper on paper for you? You know what I mean? What guidance do you have for pile one spirit? Okay, so yeah, for Paul one, please. Oop. For some of you, meditation. Getting that mind settled. Getting yourself here in focus. That's a big message I actually feel. So let the universe, you need to let go of control there. The warrior. See, don't give up. Keep going. Keep fighting the good fight. You're not a victim. You're a victor. It may not feel that way. You may feel like in love, area of love, that things just have never seemed to work out. But it wasn't your fault, though. There's other circumstances, you know. Maybe there's some things that you did or didn't do that you were not so proud of in the past. But that's okay. Let it go. You've learned from it. You're not going to, you know, you learned a little bit more about yourself and how you are in a relationship, right? You use that as your weapon, your armor. Okay, loyalty. Somebody's coming in to prove loyalty. That seems to be the biggest uh, like concern here too. Loyalty, faithfulness, long term, longevity. You deserve this, and that's coming in. And but I do hear a message for some of you. In order to receive loyalty from someone, you also have to show it to yourself. Do not compromise who you are. 
for someone else's um, happiness. That's not a true union. Be you. But you need to put yourself first a bit. Be loyal to you. Be loyal to you. Ground. Do meditation. If you're, you know, if you're spiritually um, awakening or awakened, a more meditation and grounding, especially with these energies, are really push pulling, and they will be over the next seven days. That's what I'm feeling for you guys. Any no words of advice? So be open, be patient. Yeah, priorities. Make yourself the priority. It's not selfish. Put yourself first. You are no good to anybody else. Unless you're feeling good. How can you take on like responsibilities? I'm just using this for example. If you're not like, uh, like got enough rest or anything. So that's that burdens. That ten of wands I saw. Reverse. Carrying burdens. Starting to reprioritize. <laughs> Artistic expression. Um, I, what I got. What is, uh, it's just flowing in. Uh, when you get that fired up energy. The one that's impulsive in a negative way. Um. You know, like something triggers you, kind of uh, making you feel like uh, weak. That can really make us angry, especially when we've been through hell and we've worked so hard to get where you are now. Uh, something triggers you in that way. It usually ends up being anger, resentment. <clears throat> Channel it. Channel it. I feel like some of you are artists out there or you're creative. Channel it into your creativity. Instead of channeling it towards someone. Okay. Because this too shall pass. This energy is going to pass. Things are going to level out. You need to be patient. You need to ground. Yeah. But there's good stuff coming in. There's a lot of powerful energy here. So it's not that we don't know what's coming in. They're telling you what you need to do. So you can be ready. It's It's faith. And when the time comes, following that beautiful instinct of yours, take that risk. You'll know the right one. There's this energetic shift happening in your house of love, Pile 1. Specifically for you guys. The divine, watch out for signs and synchronicities. It will guide you. Yes, it will. Uh, but you got this. You got this. This is coming back. Don't give up. Keep going. Love is, love is there. Love is coming. Love within yourself is there. You recognize that. I feel like most of you in Pile 1, you know you love yourself. But when we get these triggers, that's when that comes up. It's like, you know. And be patient, but don't give up. That enthusiasm is coming in. It seems like a dangerous mix of this energy because we got the sun and Sagittarius and we've got Mars. But I feel like the sun is uh, energy is a little bit more stronger. It's going to be what you need to get this strength card right side up for you. Okay. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this reading, if this jive with your vibe, please, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you want a little bit more insight personally on uh, to really look into what your person's doing or thinking uh, we can see what your twin flame is up to in their house of love i do donation based readings that there's no minimum any any amount is the right amount for your reading um i record it and i send you a link um all the information to get a reading for me is down below in the description box along with all the cards i've used today and i appreciate any feedback or i'm very big on validity so if this don't forget to comment too on that note thank you so much for supporting the channel by just showing up I appreciate you take care hey pile two okay let's get right down to it and let's see what is going to be influencing or impacting the house of love while the super moon in Virgo is hitting us with a little dash of that beautiful uh, Mercury <laughs> retrograde epiphanies a lot of aha moments. Ooh, you guys are going to have a fun... Oh, come on, camera. Sorry about that, guys. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Of course, I... Sorry, guys. I said that way. There we go. Epiphanies. Oh, my gosh. Things coming to light. Surprises. Just... Uh, but see... Uh, how do I say this? I get so excited. The energy is just charging up around here for you guys. Pile 2. Ooh. Okay, so... What I'm seeing is um, 
uh, I'm going to reference to what am I not plugging, honestly. Um, the forecasts, the last two forecasts I've done, um, talk about breadcrumbs um, from like the universe and seeing how things connect. Uh, you're going to come to, there's a point where you come to and you go, oh my God, and all of a sudden you'll see how everything connected and there's an aha moment. That makes sense. So you guys are going to have a lot of that. During the next seven days, that's what I felt when I was doing the pick of cards. That, now, this is timeless. So you can come at any time, but I really feel strongly the number seven days. I feel like I'm, <laughs> I feel like I'm um, doing the ring here, the movie The Ring. They're all seven days. So anyway, but in a good way, it's seven days. So let's see what else we got influence. Oof. What are you doing, Paul? Two. All right, we're going to have to see. Now, we do have Mars. I'll show you in a minute. We have Mars in retrograde, which is really pushing impulsive energy. Plus, we got Lilith in conjunction, okay, which is also in retrograde. And uh, Lilith actually has to do with, like, um, healing the emotional wounds are coming out. Kind of like the Sherion, but not quite. It's a little bit more deeper than that. All these wounds are coming to the surface. Uh, Mars's energy is firing that up. So there's a lot of reactive energy people are reacting being very impulsive with their emotions especially it's funny how we can just jump into anger and and rah, and biting and and biting uh quicker than we can with the happiness and joy and uh, you know gratitude but we have this revenge <laughs> A lovely little Scorpio there bringing that in. So if there's any Scorpios out there, uh, when I look into this a little deeper, <laughs> you want, you might want to, you might have a Scorpio sun, moon, or rising. I would actually, I feel it's sun or moon is what I'm feeling. And Venus, especially, okay, because we're looking at the house of love. So you want to see what plant, uh, what sign your, uh, the, your Venus is in. All right, let's see. Sword and the Rose, Clarity, Truth, Revelation, Protection, Power, Honor. Okay, so we got the Sword and the Rose in your House of Love. Some, see, Epiphany, some things are going to be very clear, made very clear. Maybe there's some stuff not finished. Oh, we got Coffin, Endings, Bring New Beginnings, Growth, Change, Liberation, Transition. Okay, so this isn't actually a bad card, but things are changing. And the, I feel like this energy is going to show why. And you're going to be like, oh, yes. I mean, some of you are probably welcoming this. Yes, thank you for telling me things are in transition. I, I really want to get out of this stuck energy. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, these two cards. And I shuffle the crap out of this. Always come up together for some reason. Or they did earlier for a couple of readings I did. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. Feeling secure. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> feeling secure, feeling safe, um, nurtured, protected. We have the Six of Wands. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, now, this reads definitely, this is a romantic tarot by Los Garibo. And this reads a little bit differently. So, we're going to tell a story here. For those of you who are not in a connection and haven't been in a connection for, like, say, uh, a little over six months to like 10 years okay you've been single somebody's coming forward and they they want to make sure that you see how appreciated you are how they how they they admire you how they um think you're beautiful or handsome and uh i just uh, i just see them uh, body of water that makes sense for some of you i feel like some of you are going to get a uh, like a blast from the past we are in Mars retrograde. Things from the past come back for us to look at. Uh, I don't feel like this is memories. I feel like somebody, there's a, something that could have could have been. I mean, you'll, it's like somebody's wondered, what if, with one person, it just didn't get to that point, and then there was a separate, maybe they moved, travel, the boat, anything by water. That I feel like is stressing that out. This is like really water based except for this guy right here. But I mean, I really feel very strongly. Um, water has a maybe your first date, or maybe you're going to meet them by the water. But then there's travel too. So we have a boat, and we have this kind of like station. Um, it kind of looks like you like I don't know. They're walking around. There's little lights coming through the top, almost like they're walking through like a cathedral in Rome, but I feel travel very prominently, so I mean 
but this person I feel like is going to be coming to you if there was a separation I feel there's going to be a renewal here with that fire energy okay but be careful of your impulses okay especially if uh, someone from your past came back and bad uh, taste in your mouth uh, follow your gut instinct okay because things are ending and maybe something has to come up so you can finally shut the door for some of you okay Oof. I know. Ooh. Ooh, wait, I want to do these first okay all right spirit what do we have in the house of love coming in during this super new moon Ooh, passion there we go that six of wands passion if you didn't think anybody raised that fire within you, it will. But it can work against you. That, we're going to look into that with the tarot in just a second. I'm going to see that revenge. All right, I saw you. For yourself, see? Time to take control back of your life. I feel like it's the chains that bind you, like um, codependency. Maybe um, for some of you, it's, it's really freeing yourself from the um, needing... Uh, validation outside yourself outside this in order for you to kind of come out be yourself I feel like th if you if this is someone brand new you have nobody on the radar this person's going to be attracted to who you really are okay <coughs> it's time not to you don't have to if you have to adjust who you are and can't speak your truth around the person your partner uh, you need to step back and take a really good look there okay because this person's meant to be that was a weird sound if this person is your person you should be able to be free and they'll accept you if you start holding back like oh they hate it when I do that or I, I laugh like this or talk like that or you know when you start compromising who you are there you go love yourself first always give the love that you want to receive to yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Your self-respect, loving you, being you for yourself. Playfulness. Okay, some people, I feel that um, there might be a little fear here from past experiences. Epiphany, though. Signs, synchronicities. You'll know. The Spirit's going to show you something, I'll tell you, to help you to, um, to be, just have fun. Be yourself. Have fun. You know, like when you make a friend for the first time, something you click with at a party, like, you know, just friends. You're not thinking, you know, you're just talking and having a great conversation. You're not looking ahead going, oh, I wonder if we're going to, you know, I wonder if they notice me. I wonder if we're all thinking kind of selfishly instead of being present and getting to know these people. You know, you know you're in the present moment when for like weeks or months or even years later, I remember this party, I met this person. And oh my God, the conversation we had, they were so passionate about it. You remember every detail because you were there in present and in the moment and you weren't thinking about, oh, I wonder if they like me. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said this. Do you see where I'm going with this? Be open. <coughs> okay. I believe I was talking about the past, reconciliation. Okay, so... There are some people returning from the past for some of you in pile two. But, now remember, you're not the same person you were. Now, I feel that there's been time and space uh, for some in pile two. Okay, I feel like I need to say this. There was a major ending. You you two are not the same people. But I feel like whatever whoever this is, this is a connection that needs to be re-looked at. This person... Or maybe even you had to go through the separation to become whole again, if that makes sense. Sometimes we have to separate to become whole. And remember, you're protected. You're in power. Don't give your power away. Free yourself and love yourself. No matter who's coming in, remember, do not deviate. If you've, Especially if you've been focusing on you and working on yourself, that's so important that you keep that there. You don't need to think about them all day. Just because you don't think about them doesn't mean they're not in your heart. Rest assured in that. Epiphanies. Oh my gosh, you guys. Chemistry. That was at the bottom of this deck. Chemistry. <laughs> so for those of you doubting, I just feel like some of you, there might be like, yeah, passion. Pfft, well, it's coming. <laughs> it's, 
this energy you can't mess with. I mean, seriously, with this Mars, the impulse and the passion, just people are just going woohoo crazy out there. Okay, I want to look into this revenge. Can you give me clarification on that, Spirit, please, for revenge for Pile 2? Why is this coming in right now with this new moon in Virgo? Why is this energy? Oops, sorry. Please, Spirit, show us. What, what is the revenge? Ooh, the Hermit. Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I really feel strongly it has to do with somebody went in a cave. Why? Spirit. Oop. By the cops. Ooh. By the cops. <coughs> somebody who doesn't let go of the past. Somebody I feel. Okay. <clears throat> what I'm feeling is that this is you right now with the two cups. You're like, I'm appreciative. Uh, I mean, now it's either or, so vice versa. Take it as it resonates. So this is you right now, okay? You got your, you're, you finally quit looking at the cups that spilled for those not familiar with tarot. The five of cups is about, um, there's a big banquet and um, three of the cups are spilled and this person gets so upset like it ruined the whole entire party not real recognizing that there's two cups still full and people are still having a good time they just stay stuck worrying uh, just thinking the whole thing's ruined because of that the three cups spilled regret <clears throat> looking at the past the not crying over spilt milk coulda woulda shouldas okay so you pick up your the two cups remain you're like woo I'm gonna drink these and have a good time right so you moved on you you you're nurturing and taking care of yourself you're nourishing yourself right well this person has been sitting in this regret energy for a while in this hermit mode so they've kind of stepped back after they were I feel like uh, maybe for some reason they got ghosted they you backed away from them said I'm out I'm not uh-uh Nope, nope, nope. And I feel that was a revenge, really. This is Scorpio, though. So if you are a Scorpio, um, Sun, Moon, or Venus, okay, I can, yeah, I'm sure we can elaborate a little deeper in there because you guys don't take no shit either, you know. <clears throat> one of the most lethal. Yeah, like the moon. <laughs> I was just going to say one of the most lethal of the water signs. I was just going to bring up my sun sign of Pisces, and boom, there it is. The moon shining the light on illusions. Okay, so the light's been shown on this person. So for those of you, this makes sense. It's the person where there was revenge. Okay, maybe they screwed you. Oh, screwed you over. Most likely, right? Okay, they screwed you over. You're done. Uh, you walked away. You're like, here's your head. <laughs> Serving you up. We're done. Okay. Um. But it's about shining, uh, the lights sh being spotlighted for them too. So if you think about the Mercury retrograde, bringing things up to the past, epiphanies isn't just affecting you, Pile 2, but it's also affecting whoever this resonates with, this revenge scenario, the person that ended up kind of getting you, uh, you blocked, you ghosted, or they ran and hid. <laughs> That's what I feel like. Okay, I'll be honest. It's like for some of you, these people went, oh, oh my God, and they just took off the hiding. Okay, some of them um, blocked, ghosted, okay, either by you or they did it. But they've been stewing in this. It's bothered them that much their mistakes and they see you rising like this and they're they're not happy about it they're they're angry they don't think it's fair like how dare you <laughs> and i'm like really look what you did to them okay but we have the moon uh energy in here now remember to be careful the impulsiveness be careful of illusion this person's getting ready to make an appearance again a reappearance like poof like the magician it disappears and shows up like standing right behind you instead of on stage where we're all looking yeah this person's gonna come in in a way that's whoa hey like you're not even gonna see this coming okay but the moon your intuition i feel like a lot of you are very intuitive uh in this group pile to uh really listen to that follow the signs and synchronicities Th this epiphany you're gonna know uh, sorry, I got a message in. Okay, you're going to know. 
if you uh, do your meditation ground, especially during this time of the super moon, okay, really ground down. Do not get dragged away by the tides. Okay, let me see. All right, let's see what guidance Spirit has for you, Paul 2. Let's see what guidance we have for Paul 2. And for some of you, you're going to be woohoo! Hope. Yes. I feel like some of you are going to get confirmation of hope. What you're hoping for. You're manifesting. That, look at the moon. Okay, this is, of course, was that a three-quarter? Yeah, it's three-quarter. Three-quarter full, I feel. Okay. That doesn't mean timing, but if it means something to you, go ahead and take that as it resonates. So we've got moon and moon. Hope. Hope, hope, hope. Epiphanies. That will give you hope. Oh my goodness, spirit, keep talking. Keep talking in pile two. What else we got? So there's going to be stuff that's going to show you. And, and it's, it's just the epiphanies. I'm sorry, I just get so excited. High Priestess of Fire, you have the power. You are rocking it. You are lit. Nobody's going to fuck with you, especially your Scorpio. <laughs> Sun, Moon, or Venus. <laughs> okay, but the thing is, watch that impulsivity. Fire burns. You don't want to burn too many bridges right now, right? You want to be uh, feel passionate. Their passion, chemistry, playful. Okay, watch your power. You don't want to abuse it. You got some good stuff coming in here. The real thing this time. The real thing. Now you can use it to blow that guy up, but or person. It's not gender based. Of course, these are all energies. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. We all that smoke in California is affecting us here in Arizona. Ugh. Persistence. Okay. Don't give up. I feel like this is also talking to persistence and st you. Bring yourself, loving yourself first. Making sure the focus is on you first. Staying present. Being very persistent. Not Now notice this is fire. Okay, another fire. We have a masculine and a feminine uh, energies here. Okay, together. Okay. Um, there's like a little warning, but then a blessing in here too. Watch that impulsivity. Uh, impulsivity. Step back before you react. You really want to come from a very clear and balanced, stable space. Okay, when dealing with this, because you're gonna have triggers because you're you're lit right now, pal two. Okay. Some people may it may be vice versa also. But being persistent, look at that third eye. If you are intuitive, really get in touch and, uh, with the moon energy and, and ground and, and get your messages. Keep a notebook of all the epiphanies, signs, and synchronicities. That's for everybody in Paul too. Everybody's got a little psychic in them. If you can have a gut instinct, which we're all born with, that's your GPS. The more you listen to it, the more you can develop it too. And there's all sorts of uh, meditations or um, like... Um, videos on youtube here um i do mindful was that mindful meditation uh there's zen i forget zen relax um uh that you can play in the background to help you center to help you clear it. they have special ones for like releasing negativity or become calm and all sorts of good stuff there i'm not associated with any of those accounts i just those are what i use personally Okay, so that is all I have for you, pile two. But remember, watch that impulsivity. You got this. Just remember, put yourself first. Be the love. Love yourself like you want to be loved, okay? Give yourself that attention. Get out of that. Get out of that cage. You're a unicorn, for goodness sake. <laughs> if you guys want more detailed information uh, on your person or the person coming in, we can look and see what they're doing and what this uh, Virgo supermoon is going to be influencing them on their end of the spectrum. See what's going on with them. Are they coming in? How are they coming in? And what's up with that? What do they think they're going to pull? Anyway, uh, to book a reading, it's all donation-based. There's no max, uh, minimum amount. It, whatever you feel is the right amount is the perfect amount for your reading. All the information to, um, uh, uh, I was going to say, hook up with me. <laughs> 
down below. See what your energy did? Now I'm all, hey, hook up with me so we can do a reading. On your person or anything else you want to know more about the Twin Flame Path, we can do that too. Everything's in the description bo box below along with all these decks. And on that note, thank you so much, Paul, too. Um, if this uh, reading drives with your vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. I do appreciate that very, very much. Don't forget to hit the notification bell below so you can be alerted when I do more pick a cards and when I post my forecast, which I do once, sometimes twice a week. On that note, guys, take care. Hey, beautiful souls of pile three. Okay, I did a pre-shuffle. So we're going to take a look and see how this uh, super new moon in Virgo um, with the Mercury retrograde is impacting your house of love area. Um, and this is timeless. Okay, so even though, um, and I was telling the other two piles, I really feel strong that this is going to cover at seven days. I just keep getting that, like the rain, seven days. So... Um, I just keep that in mind. It doesn't matter if it's Superman or not. When you find this video, it's the right time for it for you. All right, Pal 3, let's get going. Let's see what is impacting spirit. Straight up. Unicorn Pegasus combo. Oh my god. That is awesome, actually. Oh my gosh. The impossible is going to be possible in your house of love over the next seven days, and you guys are going to see that. Ooh, I feel that strong. Epiphanies, um, uh, signs of synchronicities, pay attention to those. Those breadcrumbs, they're getting more louder. Pay attention to the details, I feel like, uh, telling you. Okay, let's see. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, let's do this, and then I can do that. Okay. Ah, what is this? Ah, uh, criticism. It's ironically enough, Virgo influence. Okay, we'll take a look at that in a minute. Negotiation. Oh, Jupiter and Libra combo. Nice. These are all energies that are going to be impacting or influencing your house of love. Ooh, manipulation. Jupiter in Scorpio. Scorpio is making a big appearance in this pick a card lately. Okay. I know I heard somebody go, that's because we rock. Yes, no one takes your shit, Scorpio. That's right. We won't fuck with you. Okay. Okay. Ooh, Grim Reaper. A relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Okay, Pile 3. We gotta really dig into this with the tarot. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception. Shocking attack. Stabbed in the back. Okay. I feel like that's gonna go along with this. Criticism. Let's see. Yeah. We got the Eight of Swords. Stuck in your head. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. And this person's over here not even influencing this woman's mind. What? You've been there for days, lady. Look, you started, you were. You came when you are 16. Now you're, what, 80? You're still there? This is spirit going, hello. <laughs> Can you come back? Get out of your head. There's all this stuff going on. You know? It, it's just... It's like it's open here, so you could, like, walk away. We're going to take a deeper look into that, too. Now, it's not all doom and gloom. I'm not feeling that, so bear with me. All three of you guys are going, ugh. Okay. So let's take a look-see. A look-see. Do I want these or... No. You know what? I want the romantic tarot. Come here. You come here to me. You talk to us. All right, spirit. We need some clarification on what's going on for pile three. Uh, super new moon in Virgo, please. With the Mars, or I'm sorry, yeah, Mars retrograde in Virgo. Because Mars is really stirring up a lot of powerful, impulsive, reactive energy. And people are just blowing up literally out there, okay? Could be you, could be me, it could be anybody. And it's really hard to stay <laughs> non-flammable during this time but we want to channel that into something better I don't know who needed that message but that's for you alright spirit tell us what's going on for pile 3 in the house of love I feel like there's another shelf on here maybe okay oh my gosh um there's a lot of players in the game here 
I'm going to take it, though, because there's no way this is coincidence. Uh, I shuffle this deck. There's no way. I mean, I shuffle like a mad woman, okay? This is the King of Pentacles, King of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands, and we have the Knave of Pentacles. These two are the good ones. I shouldn't say that these two are not. But I feel like these might be the influence for some of you in Pile 3 for this area over here is what I'm feeling. Okay. We're going to look at that a little bit more. I'm going to move this guy over here. Okay. All right. We're going to put you guys over here. We'll look into you in a minute. All right, Spirit. Please tell us more about... Okay. Who is the king of... Ooh. Did I put that over criticism? No, negotiation. Okay. Okay, let's tell tell me a story. Mm-hmm. Oof. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna tell the story with that. Okay. So for some of you in Paul 3, there was this um very nurturing giving, but kind of like emotionally I don't want to say deficient. They just didn't show their emotions. They kind of would come across a little bit more. They were grounded. Um, very disciplined. Money. Very concerned with money. Long-term stuff. Um, I don't want to say perfection. I feel like for some of you, maybe you're king of pentacles. Now, remember, this is not gender. This could be a female too or non-binary. It doesn't matter. This is energy. This king of pentacles, though, um, I feel that um, for some, that they're... Uh, this is silly. No, it's not. Sorry. It's the way they said it to me, spirit. Oh, my God. Um, they were like, it's like OCD, but with people. In a way, it's controlling. Um, I wouldn't say they were narcissistic. I just feel that something changed over the uh, between six months to a year with this person enough to uh, it was causing you to even look at them going, I'm not feeling good about this anymore. Whether or not you were in a long-term uh, relationship where this was a situation ship, right? But it ended, okay? And what else I saw was this empress in reverse. And what I was seeing... Okay, was this person, see the finger pointing? It's like, did you didn't, it's like you didn't, you couldn't be who you are because it was criticized. There was a lot of criticism here. Because they weren't happy inside. It's almost like I almost wanted to see you were picked on a bit, you know, like you were the, not for everybody. So a decision was made, a very painful decision, and it was a long time coming, it was very hard, maybe for you, I feel like whoever had to make this decision, um, it was very hard for them to, because it was hard because you were attached, you wanted this, like this person wasn't always like that, is what I feel, pile three, but a decision had to be made, and it hurt, but you had spoke your truth, they didn't like it, and I feel like that's when it ended. Okay, not for everybody, right? So, for some of you, there was that King of Swords. With this King of Swords, though, they don't even, I feel like it got, okay, let's look at this as a, um, a current energy. Like, recently, I feel this is a recent, uh, it's like you got to see who they really were. They revealed their truth in a not-so-pretty way. And you felt manipulated. I feel like some of you did feel backstabbed. Some, and you know what's funny? As we have the stab in the back. And this king is so ruthless with his words. Because uh, swords are about intellect. Uh, the uh, element of air. Okay, mental. Intellect. Okay, manipulation. You know. Um, not always in the negative, of course, intellect. Um, but... Uh, while he was making his point, he broke his sword but didn't care. He'll still stab you. Even without the tip there. The tip's on the floor. They don't care. They can keep going. Because they're angry. And you feel manipulated. Like, this person had other intents. So when he, they finally kind of blew. And I feel like these energies that had been hitting us charged it up. And it had to happen. 
It had to happen. This person had to get out. Like shocking attack, deception. Like this came out of, for some of you, this uh, reveal of this person's true side, they, they might have got caught at something and their true side came out. And you're like, what the French toast? Okay. That's what I was seeing. Okay, so, so then we enter these two characters we have. The Knight of Wands, somebody coming in. This is someone new. I, both these characters, I, I say characters, <laughs> these people are new. They're new. One, it isn't always what they appear. <laughs> Again, probably, I bet you anything, they're probably coming uh, right on the heels of this situation. You're like, oh no. But the, it's not in a bad way. This person, this is who they are. Okay? They're actually, I feel like they're successful. I feel like they're um, ready to settle down. Um, I feel like they've traveled. Um, this is the well, Knave of Pentacles, which is different in this uh, tarot deck. Um, but this is someone, they're not really a knave. Some people see that as a negative. Um, this person is ready to settle down. Like, they're ready to take root, is what I feel. They're ready to um, settle down in a home in one place. So this, I feel really heavy. This person travels or has traveled around. This could be you. And I feel like uh, this has a lot to do with this energy coming in. Spirit springing. Negotiation. Negotiating with yourself, though. Because this is Libra. This is like still the element of air. Mental. You know, I'm all mental. Not that you're mental. <laughs> but, <coughs> excuse me. But with, um, you know, the swords energy and stuff, um, and the criticism, you know, you have to, you're going to have to do a little negotiating with your mind to allow this person in. This person loves music. They're abundant. People, they're very generous, though. They're very generous in giving. You know, people, you know, uh, give to them often, but they also have no problem giving themselves, okay? This is a very, very down-to-earth kind person who loves music. And no shoes. Okay? Keep an eye out for that. Negotiating with your mind. So you can get... Passes. We're going to look at the romance angels here. So here we come charging in. We have our nine of wands. Okay. Now, um, some people, oh, those of you who are familiar with tarot are like, ugh, because it's, but this is um, someone who has just been waiting in the background. I want to look into more. Tell us a little bit more if I'm right. Who is this person? Who is this? I feel like this is someone you've known, but you don't know real well. It's like someone, they hang out with somebody, and you always see them there, but you never really interact. You just, they're just there. They're just someone you accept as part of the, you know, like a, a group. They just show up, and somebody always knows that person. Ah, they witnessed the tower moment. Okay, with the big ending, whichever one that is, I feel more it's this one up here with the that um king of pentacles um this person wasn't involved in the tower but was a witness to the tower um i want to say they watched this it was like this could have been something that was public maybe in front of your friends um or maybe on social media or maybe they knew about it through gossip and talk but this person uh was a witness to that crumbling of that relationship you were in yeah But they were on your side. This is three of three of swords. So it's a third party situation. And what's really what I'm picking up for some of you, people knew about this. And uh they did not like that. So they're coming in. They've been oh, you little sneaker. Okay. They're what they've been watching and observing you and keeping space away from you um while you go through your healing and while everything's settled down. They always wanted to talk to you. They always found you uh, funny, intellectual. I mean, they could. It's like you're on the same page. I feel like you guys may have had like you know normal conversation as you do at a party or a group of friends or maybe chatting online just about whatever. Maybe you have a common interest and you guys talk about it for hours, you know, or chat back and forth on Messenger or something. Um, but they're getting ready. They're now 
going to step out from behind the bushes back here. They're, they've been watching you. They think you are handsome, amazing, beautiful. Okay, you might even have a love for animals, which really, and you know what really kills me? The columns. There, there's col columns. I was thinking about him. Sorry, the knave. I was like, the columns. The structure. Like, the structure, long term. This is the four of pentacles. You know, uh, there's stability here, loyalty. But, yeah, and also a little bit of stalker stuff. And everybody's like, oh, I know who you're talking about. I don't know. But you want to be open with us. I feel they're very loyal they're not coming in if they really were like low uh, they would have came right in and be like oh you poor thing you know how those people do um, oh no I'm here for you and be very patient this isn't someone who did that this is someone who who was uh, had knowledge of what happened basically I feel like witnessed knew about this they couldn't say anything you know they just were like a silent witness to something hor they felt horrific. And now they're like, they, they've been uh, working on themselves too. And now they have the courage. So they're going to come in kind of sloppy at you. You know, like I said, you may have talked to them before and everything was cool. But now they're going to be like kind of going like uh, impulsive, blah, you know. But it's a good one. It's a good one. Uh, this, I don't feel this person's going anywhere. We got this underneath this because they're going to come at you like, they want to show you they mean it. They want to show you they're different. They'll settle down because deep down they're very stable. They're very grounded. You know, they're very, they're secure. So a lot of people don't know that about them because they keep, they keep their stuff to themselves. This is why, you know, you, they don't let people in their relationships. Oh, there we go. Eight salons, new beginnings in love. And we've got the wheel in the upright. Wheel of fortune. This is <clears throat> definitely spirit intervening here. There's that hope. After all that you've been through, Pile 3, it's coming for you. Ace of Cups. New, brand new spanking beginning. The wheel is up in your favor. I feel like I want to tell uh, you guys in Pile 3 that this is definitely your time. All the darkness is starting to. Uh, this energy influence is going to knock that out. And your, your minds, it, I just feel like minds are going to be blown on this one for you guys in Pile 3. All right. Let's see here. All right. Let's see if the romance angels. Oh. Ooh. Okay. You're being encouraged to flirt <laughs> for either one of these. But love yourself first. Keep doing what you're doing. You work too hard to love yourself and learn how and to be open to loving yourself. No matter what, don't get lost in this. Keep on track. That's a big message for everybody during this full moon. You got to keep grounded. Ground. If you're intuitive, ground. Get those crystals out. Ground down. Do meditations. Whatever it takes. Passion. This person coming in, like I said, no gender. Okay? No gender. This is energies of these people coming in. Passion. They are going to, you're going to be like, woo, and flirting. Just allow it. Have fun. Love should be fun. It shouldn't be so stressful. Like, oh, oh I got to say this. I got to Just be you. Because if they're the ones that are meant to be with you, they're going to be like, oh, my God. They're going to be so damn attracted to that. You're, you know, you shouldn't have to sit there and go, oh, I can't do this or I don't want to wear this. Forgiving and learning. Time to move on. Forgive. I feel like this is more for you guys, pile two. Pile, I'm sorry, pile three. To forgive yourself for past mistakes. It's time to forgive and move on. And learn. And learn. Oh. Very soon. Though I feel like um, for some of you, I really need to bring this up. Maybe religious factors might influence or, or maybe... Um, hinder some stuff there might be differences in religious uh, beliefs spirituality okay um but <clears throat> i really feel that something like this can be overcome depending on you know where you're at where they're at but um being open being honest and talking about it i think that it, you can come to a neutral i don't feel like this is going to stop this train these trains colliding in a good way in a good 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 way wow all right let's see what advice that spirit has for you pile through whoa the warrior 
You got it. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. You're going to get a resurgence. I mean, spirit is all over this. The impossible is going to happen. You're not going to feel uh, the negative. It's like you're, I want to say to you, this is drawing me. This could be the one. That one actually lit up for me just now. I was like, I'm done with that. This could be the one. Okay. For, for this pile here, this person, that Knight of Wands, you've already met them. Okay. All right. You're strong enough. You're a, you're a victor, not a victim. You are never a victim. Ah, oh, yes. Messages. Now, remember, even though it's Mars and not Mercury in retrograde, we still have miscommunication going on with the written word. That was a big... And I'm not the only psychic that picked up on that. Being verbal, being one-on-one, -on -one, video calls, phone calls, uh, audio messages through like Facebook or Instagram, uh, FaceTiming, Zoom, um, Skype, are so much more important to connect if you cannot meet this person face-to-face, -face, okay? If things can be more, you can check them out better. You can get a better read on people that way too. You, can, you can't hide the vibrations of voice. You know how like people are talking, but you get this vibe like you tell something ain't right, like they were okay and somebody said something and even though they're still talking in the same tone, you just feel like, uh-oh, somebody crossed the line there. You can feel that like well, they're pissed, right? And they haven't changed their tone or their mannerisms, but you feel that. That's why that's important in this area for you, for you. Not only that, but I feel like messages are going to be coming in. You're going to be like, I can't make this shit up. I cannot make this shit up. Be, take notes of any signs and synchronicities. Be here. Be present in this when this uh, comes up for you guys. Be present. Focus. Uh, fo keep the focus also on you. Make you make sure you're the priority, and and you know everybody else second. Give to yourself first. That's so important. But I really feel being present is going to help you not miss the things that are coming in for you uh, from this super moon in Virgo. Okay, that's all I got for you right now on Pile 3. Um, if you do want me to look into a little deeper into these, you know, one of these people, one or both, <laughs> if it both resonates well, we got to talk. <laughs> um, I'm doing donation-based readings. I can look in and let's see what the, what the super moon's influencing them to do. How are they going to come in? What are they thinking and doing? We can totally look into all of that in more detail. Um, um, uh, I have donation based readings sorry I'm tired now um, <laughs> donation based readings minimum amount there's no minimum you know you give what you feel is right all the information to um, you know uh, get a reading for me is all down below in the description box what I do is I record them and then send you the link to look at as many times as you want remember guys spirit has got your back the impossible is going to show you it's possible I just feel like Spirit is going to show you some impossible crap that you were like, yeah, that's, you know, just never cross your mind that anything would come out of it, and boom, there it is. So, if this drives with your vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate it when you guys do that. It really keeps me going on content. Don't forget to hit that notification bell on the bottom so you know when I'm posting new pick of cards as well as the energy forecast for the weeks. And thank you, Paul 3 and I'd love to hear some feedback. I'm very big on validity in all my readings, even pick a card. So make sure you give a comment, and I'll give you a shout back. On that note, take care.